Much has been made of the personal psychology of the Reverend Jim Jones in attempting to explain the horrific outcome of the so-called People's Temple in Guyana. Over 900 devotees either committed suicide or were murdered at the hands of Jim Jones, who was himself killed on that fateful day, November 18, 1978. Little has been made in the mainstream media of the questionable connections between the Reverend Jim Jones and the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. Independent researchers have discovered many links between the People's Temple and the world's most powerful and notorious intelligence organization. In 1960, Jim Jones was a young preacher in the Pentecostal movement when he began missionary visits to South America. This included a visit to communist Cuba, where he had proposed to fund the establishment of agrarian communes. He resided in a luxurious apartment in Sao Paulo, even though his congregation had dwindled, suggesting a hidden form of income. He supposedly worked in a sales organization with a company linked to the CIA, although information surrounding his income in Brazil is murky. He had been a childhood friend of the notorious torture expert Dan Mitrioni, who just happened to be on assignment in South America at roughly the same time and in the same cities that Jim Jones resided in. This would suggest a professional relationship beyond their being childhood friends. Mitrioni had been recruited by the CIA in 1960 and had trained in torture techniques. He would later travel to countries in South America in order to train government officials in his area of expertise. Mitrioni was himself captured by guerrilla insurgents in 1970 and subjected to torture before being killed. The Leighton family were the wealthiest benefactors supporting Jim Jones with extremely generous donations in the 1960s. Dr. Lawrence Layton was the Chief of Chemical and Biological Warfare Research at Dugway Proving Grounds in Utah and had worked in the Manhattan Project. The Layton family also had links to IG Farben, an industrial company that profiteered from the exploitation of Jewish concentration camp inmates during World War II. Lawrence Layton's daughter Debbie was a top aide to Jim Jones and eventually defected from the People's Temple. Her partner, Philip Blakey, was accused of being connected to either the CIA or the American government and was a prominent lieutenant of Jim Jones. He had been the one who had organised the purchase of land in Guyana for the People's Temple, although it should be stressed that he denies any link to the CIA or the American government. Happily, he managed to survive the Jonestown Massacre, along with most of the Leighton family, who had become tightly involved with the operation of the People's Temple. While the mainstream media insists that the majority of the People's Temple committed suicide at Jonestown, later investigations would reveal that most were murdered. Author David McGowan writes, quote, Several investigators have documented that the Jonestown Massacre was not by any means a case of mass suicide, as was reported by the US press. It wasn't a case of, a, a case of mass murder. The Guyanese coroner, Dr. C. Leslie Matu, concluded that only a handful of the 913 victims at Jonestown died by means of suicide on that fateful day. All of the rest were summarily executed, some by lethal injection, some by strangulation, and some simply shot through the head. The massacre at Jonestown was precipitated by the ruthless murder of Congressman Leo Ryan and his entourage just as they were leaving the vicinity with a small number of defectors. Among the entourage was Richard Dwyer, a known CIA agent who also happily survived the hail of bullets that killed the entourage. In the very last recording of Jim Jones on the night of the massacre, he makes mention of Dwyer as if Dwyer were present at Jonestown, suggesting that he had returned from the airstrip and was present during the massacre. Finally, in 1980, a serious attempt at suing the CIA 
was made by a small number of survivors along with Patricia Ryan, the daughter of Congressman Leo Ryan. This attempt was unsuccessful, but was largely thwarted by a lack of government documentation. Patricia Ryan would later cease discussion of any connection between Jim Jones and the CIA. Her father had been a sworn opponent of the CIA's overreach in the early 70s, and his death was extremely convenient for the intelligence organization. Research into connections between Jones and the CIA is consistently thwarted by tranches of documents disappearing from a variety of government departments.